Hey guys, how you doing today? Today we are gonna do something really crazy. We are going to try to eat 100 Pop-Tarts. Now, I'm gonna thank my friend Sean the Mouth Eats for challenging me on this one. Uh, this isn't something I would usually have come up with as I'm really, I never eat Pop-Tarts. So uh, I'm looking forward to it, I think. I don't know, it's gonna be a very sweet challenge. We've got 100 Pop-Tarts, almost 200 calories each. And so we've got about 20,000 calories and like 1,600 grams of sugar. So I don't know about this. Thanks, Sean, appreciate that. Uh, the the uh, rules we have in place are, we've got 75 minutes to eat as many as we can and uh, just see who can eat more. The only three people that have ever beaten it have been the top three eaters in the world. So we've got Joey Chestnut, Jeff Esper and Molly Schuyler. So that's a great group of people to be around. Uh, if we can try to finish somewhere, at least, I think I'm, I'd love to hit 80. If I can hit more, it'd be great. But uh, yeah, I don't know, nothing else to do. We're gonna throw these in the microwave oven or maybe the toaster oven. I don't know, I, I don't even know how to cook these to tell you the truth. But uh, we're gonna do that. We're gonna get them uh, warmed up a little bit and uh, get this challenge started. All right, so here we've got the 104 Pop-Tarts. Now I've made a few extra just in case. Don't think I'm gonna get there, but there was just basically 104 uh, with all the different packages. So um, we've got some s'mores, of course, um, which are going to be these guys here. We've got the uh, chocolate fudge, strawberries, blueberries, raspberries. So I'm gonna be going through them. I've also got a microwave back here. In case they get a little bit cold, I can reheat them up. Uh, however, I heard they're a little chalky if you do heat them up. But uh, with that being said, guys, um, wish me luck. I think I'm gonna need it. Thanks, Sean. Uh, I appreciate that uh, for the uh, for the, I guess, challenge. It's definitely gonna be a challenge here. So I'm not sure if I'm quite ready for it, but we're, we're gonna give it our best shot. So hope you guys are ready. I'm pumped. Let's eat. All right, guys. <sighs> Wish me luck here. Gonna start off uh, with the chocolate fudge. They're not warm anymore, but uh, we're gonna give it a go anyways. All right, count of three, two, one, begin. Definitely gonna need a lot of water. Hey guys, and welcome to today's video, and what has to be one of my craziest videos in a long time. Very chocolatey, for sure. Chocolate with more chocolate, my favorite. And as you guys probably already heard, my friend Sean Yeager has invited me do a collaboration to see who can eat 100 Pop-Tarts. All right, I gotta try and figure out which ones I heat it up first, but I don't know if that's gonna work or not. So we'll just get into these raspberry ones here. Like I say, once again, not that warm. All right, I actually like these ones. Got a nice sweetness to them. Probably not gonna like the sweetness towards the end, but they're not pretty good. These ones I cooked a little bit longer, I can tell. They're a little bit crispier. 
Well, 12 down and only 88 to go. With that being said, the rules that we've put into place for this collaboration are we've got 75 minutes to defeat as many Pop-Tarts as we can, hopefully 100 at least, um, and with the winner um, not really getting anything per se, just really trying to push each other's limits uh, to see how well we can do here. And to help us get this down, we've also allowed for unlimited condiments and water as well. Well, that's my lovely assistant helping me out there. And if you guys don't know already, uh, that's Sarah, of course. We were kind of battling at the time to see who would get to use the kettle. Uh, and I was fortunate enough that uh, she was helping me out and pouring some of that hot water for me. So uh, I definitely appreciate her. All right, next we're gonna move on to the s'mores while I make some more hot water. Excuse me. Nine minutes in, a quarter of the way in, not looking good. So that's right, I've got 25 down and only 75 to go. Uh, and the reason that I say it's not doing or not looking so well is because typically in a challenge when you've done a certain amount of food, to do that same amount of food after the original amount, it usually takes double. So if I've taken me nine minutes to do the first, we'll say 25, it usually takes me 18 minutes to do the next 25. That's not always the case. Uh, but that is uh, the case a lot of the times. Uh, a little bit different, I think, here with the Pop-Tarts, but I wanna know what you guys think. Give me your predictions, give me a hashtag yes or a hashtag no if you think I will or will not complete the challenge. And if you do, let's see what your time predictions are. All right, so that s'mores there, pretty good. We're almost getting sick of the chocolatey flavor though. Well, that almost is a big almost as the flavor fatigue is starting to kick in and we're not even halfway into this challenge. Uh, but that's being said, it will get worse towards the end. So you guys will just have to stay tuned for that. Man, a lot of Pop-Tarts. I never actually eat these for breakfast or at all, so. I can honestly say that I haven't had these things in years, probably since I was a kid. I think I may have had some of the toaster strudels, but uh, definitely not any of these pot parts. Hmm. All right. Go for the milkshake and go for the strawberry. I'm gonna go for the strawberry just by itself. And I'm not so sure that there is a huge difference between the strawberry and the strawberry milkshake. I just wanted to get kind of a variety of everything, but uh, anybody that knows, let me know in the comments down below. Definitely tasting a lot sweeter now. Looks like we're about 44 Pop-Tarts into the challenge here and about 56 to go. I guess maybe the strawberry ones are a little bit sweeter than the strawberry milkshake. I don't know if that's the difference or not, uh, but it's kind of that point in the challenge where everything has kind of lost its unique individual flavor and uh, mostly just tastes like sugar. Tastes like strawberry and ice and sugar and white flour. All the good stuff. Excuse 
excuse me, 20 minutes and 33 seconds in. 50 down, 50 to go. So if we're going by the rule that I gave earlier, we finished 50 Pop-Tarts already, uh, and for the next 50, it'd probably take me somewhere around double that amount of time. So if I am able to complete 100 Pop-Tarts, it's looking like it's gonna be around an hour. I was using the water before to counteract the dryness. Now, I'm using the water to counteract how sweet it is. Well, it's kind of funny how you may have a game plan at the very beginning, but it changes as soon as something happens. Uh, it reminds me of the Mike Tyson quote that everyone has a game plan until they get punched in the face. Or so onto the strawberry milkshake. Yeah, so the way that I decided the flavors here was I wanted to get a variety of each. So there's seven different flavors, each with 16 different Pop Tarts or Pop Tarts, and the fudge only had eight. So uh, six times 16 is 96, plus the eight is 104 in total. Flavors are all mixing together now, so I don't know how much different it tastes than the regular strawberry. Too much water though. It might fill up. And the reason I'm saying that is because the Pop Tarts alone are around 11 pounds for everything you see in front of you. And then the water is probably somewhere between three to four liters, which is another eight pounds. So in total, almost 19 pounds. Yeah. So typically I like using some warm water for a challenge like this that's kind of got the thick crust, uh, you know, carbs in there. However, this water was boiling so I just needed a few ice cubes to cool it down. Excuse me. <laughs> I am starting to fill up quite a bit here this point so I'm just trying to save a little bit of room for the remaining I'd say about 30 pop tarts or so but at this point my tongue is starting to lose sensation which doesn't really surprise me because of all the chewing but I did pay for it for about a week after the challenge
Tell you what, I'm done with strawberry. I know that much. Let's give this a go, baby. Those are not hot at all. Luckily, they're cookies and cream, which were my favorite on the day. However, they were cold, so not easy to get down. These ones are actually pretty good. Still sweet, but not overly sweet considering. And I think the biggest variable for today's challenge would definitely be the temperature of the Pop-Tarts. Now, I had some flavors that I didn't like quite as much that were warmer, that went down a lot easier. And then I also have these cookies and cream, which were my favorite flavor, but because they were cooler, were a lot harder to get down. Definitely like to thank Sean for this. Whew, you picked a good one, bud. Well, kudos, Sean. I think this challenge would have to be up there with the Toby Rome video that I did a little while back there. And if you guys haven't seen it, I'll put it in the card up above. All right, 80 down. And for those of you that don't know what the Toblerone bar was, it was the world's largest chocolate bar, at least the world's largest Toblerone. Uh, I attempted to become the very first person to defeat the chocolate bar. A lot of greats had tried it before. So make sure that you guys check that video out. Just another one of my home challenges here. And I wanna know what you guys think though. Do you guys like the home challenges or do you prefer the restaurant ones? Let me know, home challenges, restaurant, mixture of both. Let me know down below. Just a few shy, uh, second shy of 40 minutes. About 80, almost 88, uh, sorry, 86. Oh, hot. Well, thank goodness we have the ice machine right behind us there. I don't like going off camera during any of these challenges. Uh, and that's also another reason why I have multiple cameras in case anything actually happens to the main ones. This is 100 here, that's 104. I just wanna get these ones done. Tastes like blueberry pie. Main camera battery got too hot, so I got some side other cameras just in case. Well, like I said, trying to keep it real with you guys, make sure that I have all the footage, nothing missing. That's why I've got these multiple angles. So I hope that you guys enjoy it. And if you did enjoy the video today, make sure you smash that like button, uh, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, it doesn't cost you a thing. 
So I appreciate you guys joining me on this. And if I do finish this 100, there may be a little bonus footage at the end. Main camera shut off again, too hot. <clears throat> All right, last two. There it is, 4833, 100 Pop-Tart Challenge. So I do believe that is the second fastest that uh, behind Joey Chestnut that anybody's ever completed 100 Pop-Tarts. So um, yeah, I mean, lots of sugar, lots of food, um, and I think I'm done Pop-Tarts for a while now, so. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this longer video, but uh, some of these big challenges require that. So big thank you to Sean the Mouth Eats for uh, this challenge. And I wish you good luck on yours and hopefully you're successful as well. So with that guys, hope I left you hungry for more. If I did, see you on the next one. Bonus footage. All right. Now do we want to try for the bonus footage? Uh. Main camera shut off. This one shut off before. All right, there we go. The bonus four. I believe that I don't think I've seen um, any more than 104 ever eaten before. So uh, with that, guys. I'm done. Bit of a sugar coma right now. Hope I left you hungry for more. We'll see you guys later.